My family hasn't figured out how to say I love you. So instead, we buy takeout. Chicken, broccoli, white rice, and chopsticks. We stop yelling for a whole hour. The length of our silence is the depth of our love, so we just sit there, tasting, chewing, scattering the smell of brown sauce all around the house. Love smells like takeout boxes, and the aftermath clings to my clothes. Mother says, wash your shirt, take a shower, brush your teeth, or you'll smell like food. I say, I like the way I smell. Long after the meal, soon after the yelling, I like to remember that it wasn't all a dream. Amma makes me eat every grain of rice or else I'll get acne, but I'll let it if that leaves some evidence that you loved me today. My family hasn't figured out how to say I love you. So we take road trips. Road trips or four-wheel drive on shit where car sickness and hatred for each other's speed smells keeps dad threatening to turn this car back around right now. We fight over the gummy bears and at least half of us cry. No one even smiles in the photos and yet we keep on planning for the next time. We pack into a sweaty car, shit, vomit, cry, and there is somehow always a next time my family hasn't figured out how to say I love you. So we sort Halloween candy together. Cross-legged on carpet floor, we trade Tootsie Rolls for Twizzlers, sweet tarts for jawbreakers. If we're generous, a Kit Kat. If we're thankful, a Hershey. It's a language we speak fluently because a Hershey means thank you, and that's a hard one for us, too. Love is here, but only if you pay attention. My family hasn't figured out how to say I love you. So after we've said fuck you, go to hell, I wish I were never born. So are you a lesbian or just a whore? If you love me, you leave me alone. So after you've said everything else. We go to bed, pretend to sleep. In the morning, we'll smile as if we could forget how the house has burned down and been burning for years now. We step into the blackened skeleton of what used to be our kitchen and silently eat the leftovers. So, now you know. I wear my clothes twice, and I give second chances and carry around chocolate for a reason. I've been trying to figure out how to say I love you, but I'm scared to burn you too. Cool, all right, so judges, scores.